In this video, we're going to show you how to connect to your Wi-Fi if for some reason you can't get your Toshiba Smart Class TV that this particular one's got fire on it and you can't get connected to the internet anymore. The the network's not working, the Wi-Fi network's is not doing, not working. So we're going to go ahead and troubleshoot that. The first thing I want you to do is look at your router, your Wi-Fi router and try another device on the router. So try a laptop, try your smartphone and whatever. If for some reason you know that you can't connect to another device that means it's probably not your Toshiba that's not working it's most likely the router that's not working so what I want you to do and if that's the case then I want you to troubleshoot the router and shut the router off reset it and then keep it off for maybe five to ten minutes reconnect the router and see if that will get your Toshiba fire to work so a lot of times it is the uh, that's the issue um, if you just newly installed your TV, it might be a, a, an issue of two things. You might have too many devices on your router. So, for example, if you've got a family, you got one person upstairs on, on their phone, you got one person playing Xbox on the router, so it could jam up the, uh, the, the bandwidth on the router, and that's why you're not able to get a connection. To test it out, tell everybody in your home to stop their device and then see if your, if your uh, TV is working. This particular room has got a door, so if you're in another room and the door's closed, make sure you open up the door because the door will prevent, it'll be like a firewall that'll prevent Wi-Fi getting to your location. So make sure that, that you have access close to the router. So that's one thing to try. Now, if you've tried all that and you know it's something with the Toshiba, what I want you to do is go into settings to your to your network. And so on your remote here, what you're going to do is hit the home button. And then what I want you to do is go all the way till you see a gear shift. Now on this particular TV, it's over here to the right center, but some you'll have to go all the way up to the right and you'll see a gear shift. So go ahead and hit enter on the gear shift. And then you scroll down to where you see network. And that's where you want to see all your networks. Now, I'm going to click on here and this is my this is my link here, CenturyLink. Now, it shows connected, but that still doesn't matter. That doesn't mean anything. doesn't mean that your router is still not working. Because you could be connected to the router, and Wi-Fi might not be getting to the router. Maybe your service was disconnected, or maybe there's an issue. But again, reset your router. And then what I want you to do, if you've tried all that, what I want you to do is click the little three bars here that says, Forget this network. So what you want to do is you're going to click this, the three bars there. and then click select to confirm and so what that does is it took it off and what I want to do is I'm going to turn off my TV give it five minutes go back on go go directly back to the gear shift to the settings and then click on your network all over again and then I want to enter my password and then from there I want to see if I can get connected to the Wi-Fi now, if you've tried all that, the last resort, if that doesn't work, what you're going to want to do is completely reset your TV to where you're going to have to put all your passwords in, in and everything. So it's a last resort, but this will fix the problems uh, majority of the time if you've tried everything else. So what I'm going to do is go back to settings, the gear shift, and then I'm going to go all the way down to device and software down here. Click enter. And then I'm going to go all the way down here to where it says reset to factory default. And what that's going to do is make it all fresh from the beginning. Then you go back to settings to the gear shift. And then you want to, it's going to find your Wi-Fi network and then you want to re-enter the password. Also, make sure you check with your loved ones. That may, they might have changed the password on your router. So that's another option. If I helped you, if I got you connected to your Toshiba Wi-Fi, make sure you subscribe and... See you on the next one.